Welcome to day two. This one is going to be the blue unit, all about savings, investing, and risk management insurance. So you've got the guidebook um, that you need, as well as the insurance and life sheets that will be used in the second half, and sticky notes for the tree of life activity if you get to that as well. And again, the students need their workbooks. And you'll notice in this specific activity, there's lots of content, lots of vocabulary, and again, feel free to pick and choose. Um, these activities are written as a 45 minute lesson from JAUSA, but again, we know that you need to condense that down. So we're kind of suggesting a 50-50 split and doing about 35 minutes of content. So we realize you need to summarize and condense a few things. Um, you'll notice that the beginning portion is all about the idea of savings and investing to be able to reach our goals. And so as we click through here, again, we'd encourage you to utilize the uh, PowerPoint presentation, um, but just talking a little bit about uh, saving money. And we like to say, pay yourself first. It's a big JA term because we always um, think we're going to have good intentions of saving what's left over, but there is an unlimited amount of things that we'd like and a limited amount of resources. So we say, pay yourself first, and that way you know for sure you're going to be getting some money into savings. Again, there's lots of vocab you can showcase from the front of the room. You can also have them look in their workbooks because all of these are also showcased within there. Pick and choose as you go. What you'll notice is that before you get to the savings chart, there is a doodling for dollars um, in the student workbook. Sorry, I got to go backwards here. Um, and it really challenges the students to think about a savings goal that they have. And you can give them just a few minutes to kind of work through this worksheet. We do encourage you just to have them skip that pie chart in the upper right corner because most of them don't um, have money income that would make that really relevant. So save the time and have them skip that. Um, but have them kind of work through these um, just questions on this worksheet and then continue to showcase um, the topic of savings. We wanna show them that compound interest is their friend, right? And so you can use this savings chart um, if you want to for doing that. Um, you can talk about what is an opportunity cost and how sometimes you have to give up something in order to make those decisions to save. And then you're gonna transition into five savings options. And what you'll notice is that in the student workbook, there are know-it-all savings cards. And um, this activity is supposed to be where you um, assign each group one of those topics, and then they can flip to um, a later page um, that talks about a social media post. So we don't know if you're going to have enough time to actually do that social media post, but in theory, you would have each group take a look at the content of their specific savings option, and then they would create a social media post summarizing that key information. So if you have time, feel free to do that. If you want to highlight these as a large group instead, feel free to do that. Um, you could simply just have the students focus on which ones are short-term and which ones are long-term if time is tight. And you'll notice that as you advance, your slide, we have the overview and recap of those two specific options as well. From there, um, we are going to be talking a little bit about um, switching into insurance and risk management. So first of all, we want to save money, we want our money to grow, but we also wanna protect the money that we work hard for. And so the second portion of the lesson is going to be all about insurance. So again, you are going to utilize the guidebook and these slides showcasing um, a variety of uh, vocabulary, talking about insurance types. Um, and we want you to hold this tree of life until the very, very end. So I advanced too quickly and I don't know how to go back. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Maybe I'll actually stop sharing for a moment um, because what you're gonna do, this is a pretty fun activity. And what we've done is we have um, provided um, 16 copies. I know you might not have that many students, but not knowing how many you'd have in your classroom. Half of your class are gonna get the white insurance sheets and the other half of the class is going to get a life sheet. And one fun thing that we would suggest is having all of the students that have insurance sheets, take these and to sit all across the room. 
they're going to stay there. They're going to be an insurance company selling insurance, okay? And then the students that have the yellow sheet are going to have these life events happen, and they're going to be traveling to each of these um, insurance companies, and they are going to be trying to find coverage. So it's basically kind of a mix and mingle. They get to initial the spots on um, both both sides get to initial accordingly. So that just makes it fun and interactive for the students. And again, the uh, last portion, if you get time for it, we realize it might be really time, uh, time might be really short. Um, but then if, if you have time, you can pull the tree of life to the very, very end. So in our South Dakota PowerPoint, we moved it to the end. But if for some reason you're working off the USA deck, um, it was um, earlier in the session, but we have provided basic sticky notes um, in your packet as well. And what you would do just to kind of summarize and, and recap this entire lesson is to provide each group of students or each student a couple sticky notes. And they're just going to simply think about events that happen over the course of life uh, in which having insurance would help cover the cost. So maybe it's an accident. Maybe it's you chipped your tooth, maybe it's a storm, et cetera. They're just gonna all think about some, write them on their sticky notes. And then if you have the opportunity, you can pull this up on your um, smart board and they could just simply put the sticky notes under the tree branch area that it would fall under. If for some reason you don't have this up or you don't have the smart board capabilities um, in your classroom, you can also just simply make a tree on your whiteboard and they could do it that way as well. Again, just kind of a fun way to summarize these two sessions. Um, as a connection real quick to the actual simulation, the students are going to be encouraged um, to identify a long-term savings goal that they're going to be working toward and how they're going to how much money they want to pay themselves first before the simulation monthly budget even kicks off. So they're going to get that opportunity. Again, the volunteers are going to help coach them through it. And then once they actually get into the simulation and they're building their budget, there is again, or another section for investing specifically. So they're gonna get to talk to a volunteer um, that's gonna showcase a little bit more about retirement and investing. And they're gonna get to decide how much money do they actually want to um, put into their investments as well as part of the simulation. Again, have fun. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions um, and um, remind the students to turn in their student workbooks so that you can keep them safe for the next session. Thanks so much.